Okay guys, today we will be going over the difference between DIY ballistics gel and regular ballistics gel. Okay guys, and to be honest with you, there's just one clear winner. Okay guys, so this one here on the left is the DIY. This one here on the right is obviously the real ballistics gel. I have reconstituted this one and I have learned a better way to do it where it doesn't get any bubbles in it. I'll show you that in another video later. Um, and this is the DIY block that I made a couple weeks ago. There's a video to that I'll put here. So some of the pros of the DIY ballistics gel is it's about half the cost. So this on sale at Midway is about 90 bucks um, and you have to buy a little bit more than that, wait for their free shipping deal. Um, um, this, all the, the gelatin you need is about $45. So it's about half the cost. The DIY ballistic gel is also a little bit thinner when it's melted. So it's a little bit easier to work with. It's not like syrup, so it's easier to get all the bubbles out. That's kind of nice too. Um, it also doesn't really darken over time because you don't have to get it to as high of a temperature. Um, the, the actual stuff will slowly turn more of a yellow color as you uh, reconstitute over and over and over okay so those are the three pros to the diy ballistics shell and quite frankly that's where it ends everything else it's better for this one okay so this actual ballistics gel block um it's it, it's way better in so many ways um it's completely clear it, that's a game changer. It makes you see through it really well. Uh, it doesn't rot. So this one, you notice, I've wiped down all the sides with um, like um, a bleach, and so that's kept it from there. But for some reason, I missed the bottom. Anyway, that's what it looks like if you don't either put salt in your mix or treat it with like a Clorox bleach or something like that. The synthetic one won't rot because it's a synthetic uh, gelatin. It's not a real gelatin. Um, the synthetic one is calibrated. You can calibrate your own if you have a, a BB that goes at whatever it's like 500 something feet per second you can calibrate it and add a little bit more um, over time different lots this this one is temperature stable the the actual ballistics gel so you can shoot it anywhere somebody put it in the comment section but i think it's like anywhere from like 40 degrees fahrenheit to 100 degrees fahrenheit um, and it won't change its viscosity whereas the diy ballistics gel needs to shoot be shot in a refrigerated state luckily it's kind of cold out here i'm practically in a refrigerator hence a jacket so it's not a big deal but on a hot july day that's going to be a challenge you have to bring it to the range in a cooler take it home in a cooler it's a huge pain in the butt um, you can store this one at room temperature and it has a shelf life of approximately five years is what they say um, this one has a shelf life of like if you don't put salt or do something to preserve it, it has a shelf life of like a week or two. I've had this in my fridge since I made that other video, which has been a couple weeks. This one, when you reconstitute it, I've said it's a little bit thicker, uh, but it, it one con with it um, is it does produce some amount of smoke. Um, not a ton, but enough that you probably want to do it in your garage. If you do it in your wife's oven, she's probably going to get mad at you, or you're going to want to do it when the temperature is nice so you can have the window open so she doesn't notice. Um, this one does not produce any smoke, so that is one nice thing about the the DIY gel, but it does smell like cow. It freaking smells like cow, dude. It stinks. Uh, where this one doesn't stink at all. So, you know, pros and cons there. This one's pre-made, so you don't have to um, worry about it uh, making it uh, the first time. Um, and also the synthetic stuff does not dry out. So I'll show you these up here. So these were at once upon a time the exact same size, and you can see that this one has dried out quite a bit, um, just chilling in my fridge. So unless you keep it in a hermetically sealed container, it's gonna get smaller over time. I am way biased towards a genuine ballistic gel, and I think it, rather than spending your $45 on uh, gelatin, you should just put that money towards the synthetic ballistic gel. Anyway, enough talking, let's shoot them. Okay, I'll be shooting each one with three different rounds, so I have a hollow point 22, I think it's a Winchester uh, copper plate, and then a blazer brass, uh, whatever, FMJ, and then these ones are these Browning X points, dang expensive rounds, hollow point, and we'll see what each of them does. I'm shooting them out of this Keltec CP33 and my Springfield Hellcat. Okay, first up, the 22. Okay, so here is the real ballistics gel. You can see its entry path kind of arced down um, and then it stopped right there. It didn't really come apart. Okay, in the DIY ballistics gel, you can kind of see very similar thing. Went in there, um, stopped there. As far as penetration distances go, to be honest, it was pretty comparable. So now they're stacked on top of each other. Remember, this one's a little bit shorter. So it did look like it went an extra inch and a half for the DIY gel, but other than that, pretty comparable. Um, let's try the FMJ nine millimeter and then the hollow point.
Okay, so both of them, it went all the way through. Um, so here's the entrance on the synthetic gel, all the way through. Uh, that's that size. This this is the bottom. It has a little more bubble. I should have showed you from the other side. Anyway, and then same thing on the other one. All the way through, you can see kind of the wound cavity that created is pretty darn close. This is puzzling because everything else didn't go quite as far except the self-defense round got caught in the DIY ballistics gel and this its slug is chilling right there all expanded whereas in the synthetic ballistic gel you can see its path it's this middle one right here okay this is upside down but you can see it it's this middle one it started to come apart it really broke apart and then exited and went off into the wild blue yonder so actually had more penetration in the um, synthetic versus the diy which is the verse of some of the other things that i shot at it. so eh, who knows i even shot it again with a little bit further distance from that hollow point um and same thing it went all the way through and i even saw it hit back there so that's weird it stopped in the diy but not the synthetic Okay guys, so there you have it. That is the difference between synthetic and DIY ballistics gel. I highly prefer the synthetic as for all the pros that I listed off before. If you have any other experience or comments or have used ballistics gels on your own, whether synthetic or DIY, please put it in the comment section below. And as always guys, thank you for watching. See you next time.